the line between AI and realism just vanished. I am not real and you are now watching visuals generated by AI. Yes, every single video clip you're about to see wasn't filmed with a camera. No actors, no film crew, no expensive equipment, just AI. This is Google's Bayo 3.1 in action, and honestly, it's kind of mind-blowing. We're talking hyper-realistic videos generated from nothing but text prompts and images. Lip sync that actually works. Camera movements that feel cinematic. Sound design that matches the mood perfectly. And he's the best part, bro. You don't need to be a teth wizard or have access to Google's labs to use it. Thanks to Higgsfield AI, anyone can now harness the power of VO 3.1 and create videos that look like they came straight out of a professional studio. So today, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. We'll break down what makes VO 3.1 so powerful, walk through the entire creation process step by step, and at the end, we'll see how it stacks up against the competition. Sora 2 and Juan 2.5. Trust me, you're going to want to stick around for this one. Let's dive in. All right, let's talk about what Veo 3.1 actually is and why everyone's buzzing about it. When OpenAI dropped Sora 2 recently, the AI video generation world went absolutely crazy. The quality was unprecedented, and it felt like we'd entered a new era of content creation. But Google wasn't about to sit back and watch. They responded with VO 3.1, and let me tell you, this is their most impressive version yet. Now you might be wondering, okay, this sounds amazing, but how do I actually access VO 3.1? That's where Higgsfield AI comes in. Think of Higgsfield as your all-access pass to the most powerful AI video and image generation tools on the planet. They've partnered with Google to bring VO 3.1 to their platform alongside other incredible models like Sora 2 Max, Seedream 4, and Nano Banana. What I love about Higgsfield is how they've made everything so accessible. Instead of jumping between different platforms, paying for multiple subscriptions, or dealing with complicated AP is, you get everything in one place with a clean, intuitive interface. Another good news? Higgsfield offers unlimited generation options for many of its models. That means you can experiment, iterate, and create as much as you want without worrying about burning through credits. For creators who are serious about producing content, this is an absolute game changer. All right, enough talking about it. Let's actually create something. I'm going to walk you through the exact process I used to generate those stunning clips you saw at the beginning. Go to higgsfield.ai and log in to your account. From the dashboard, you'll see image, video, edit, and a list of models. Veo 3.1, Sora 2, WAN 2.5, etc. The VEO 3.1 flow is under video. Okay, the VEO 3.1 video generator is now selected. Now, let's create our first video. First, you will find two options, frame and ingredients. In the ingredients mode, you can generate videos with reference images. In frame mode, you can upload the first frame and the last frame of the video. For the first one, I will generate a video only with text prompts. So, come to the prompt box and enter your prompt. I am entering a very simple prompt. A man walking in a desert. Camera zoom out. Cinematic vibe. After entering the prompt, you can automatically enhance the prompt using the AI enhancer. Next, we have the option to enable the multi-shot mode. This means you can split your prompt into scenes and add camera cuts. This time, I will skip this feature. After that, you can change the video generation model from here. You will find almost all the popular AI video generators here. You can notice that you can generate unlimited videos using the Google VO 3.1 Fast model. So, I am selecting this model. After selecting the model, you have to set the video resolution. I will go with 180p resolution. Next, set the aspect ratio. After that, set the video duration. You can generate four, six, and eight second long video clips using Google VO 3.1. After selecting the duration, turn on the unlimited mode to generate unlimited videos for free. Otherwise, it will cost credits. Once everything is set, hit the generate button. Now it will take some time to complete the video generation. So, I am fast forwarding the video. And here it is. The video is ready. And look at the quality of the video. Every step takes me further into the unknown. It looks more real than real. 
The character is so realistic, the camera work is amazing, and the character movement follows real-world physics. No unusual movement or glitch in the video. And the sound effects? Sounds like a Hollywood-level soundtrack. You can even hear the footsteps of the character. This is really amazing. So now you can create this kind of amazing cinematic scene with a simple prompt like that. If you enter a more detailed prompt, the result will be more amazing. I will try to generate the same scene, but with a more detailed prompt. I am entering a ready prompt. However, you will find all the prompts in the description box. After entering the prompt, you can customize the settings and then hit the generate button. After waiting for some time, I got this result. This is amazing. The camera work is perfect, and the sound design is amazing. You can see the camera cut. Now, let's generate the same video, but with multi-shot mode. After enabling the multi-shot mode, hit the generate button, and then wait for some time. And here it is, the video is ready. Now, you can notice the camera cut is more precise. However, you can add a camera cut or generate a multi-shot video using prompts. Okay, now let's create a video from an image. Imagine I want to turn this character into a Viking warrior. So, I am uploading the image. After uploading the image, enter the text prompt. I am entering the prompt. After entering the prompt, set all other settings and then hit the generate button. And here it is, the video is ready. It's time. This is just amazing. I am really speechless. The transformation is very smooth. Although there is so much happening, you can't notice a single unusual movement. The sound effects perfectly match the scene and mood. You can hear the watch tap sound too. I really love this video clip. It's time. So you can create this kind of rich video with a reference image and text prompt. Okay, now let's see how it does with the lip sync. To try the lip sync, I will generate a song video. To do that, I will upload this image. Once the image is uploaded, I am entering a prompt. After entering the prompt, set all other settings, and then hit the generate button, and then wait for some time. And here is our result. I'm lost inside your melody, feeling every beat. Is this real? Seriously? Can you tell that this video is AI generated? I don't think so. The expression, lip sync, and even the emotion, everything is top notch. Now, I will create the same video with Sora 2 and WAN 2.5. First, I will generate the video using the Sora 2 model. As it will take some time, I will generate the video using the WAN 2.5 model. Most importantly, you don't need to go anywhere to use these powerful video engines. It's all in one under one platform. And this is the video generated by Sora 2. I'm lost inside your melody, feeling every beat like two. It's good. I like it. Now let's have a look at the result of WAN 2.5. This one is also a good video. Now tell me which one is best. Let me know in the comment section. In my opinion, Veo 3.1 generates the best result. So there you have it. A complete breakdown of Google's Veo 3.1 and how to use it through Higgsfield AI to create absolutely stunning video content. We've gone from simple text prompts and static images to fully realized cinematic video clips with realistic characters, natural movements, and immersive audio. And we did it all without touching a camera or hiring a single actor. If you want to try Veo 3.1 yourself, head over to Higgsfield AI and enjoy unlimited video creation with Veo 3.1. The link will be in the description box. All right, friends, I will wrap up our video now. Before that, I would love to hear your opinion about Google Veo 3.1. Share your thoughts and results in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful, and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tutorials like this one. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, happy creating.